All right, good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Berry Hills. Here I am on the putting green. Uh, I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about <clears throat> a pre-swing or a pre-putting routine. So you'll see PGA Tour players, LPGA Tour players, they get out of their car, they go right to the putting green and try to focus on some speed and some good green reading drills that they like to do to prepare themselves for the course. So I'm going to go ahead and, and give you a real quick drill here. So this is for figuring out the speed of the greens. So the first thing we like to do is uh, get the speed of the greens right. So I've got four golf balls here. I'm going to try and hit them as close as I can to the fringe without hitting it into the fringe. So here I go through my routine. All right, I'll look at my, look at where I want my target to go, make a couple free flowing swings. Then I step up to it. And commit to it. So that's about three inches from the collar here. So now I'm gonna go this way. So you'll see it's a little longer of a putt, probably 35, 40 feet. I'm going to do the same routine. So I'm going to figure out <clears throat> how far back and through I want to stroke it. All right, I'm looking at my target, focusing in on the speed. And once I'm fully committed, I strictly think speed. Okay, really good. Just short. Now this is about a 20 foot putt, a little uphill. Go through my routine again, looking at my target, making a couple free flowing swings, trusting it. Step up to it. Try to feel that exact same speed. Okay, so that came up just about an inch short. Okay, now one last time. I'll go all the way to the back corner here. Same process, looking at my target, making some free flowing swings just to rehearse how far I want to hit it. at it one last time. Hit it. Ooh, just short. All right. So <clears throat> now I want to touch on a little green reading drill that I like to do also. So let's go on over here. All right, so we'll see now that this putt here is a little bit of a left to right breaking putt, okay? So here's what I like to do. All you're gonna need is a coin, okay? You get a really good idea of what the putt's gonna do from behind, behind it. So clearly it's breaking to the right. So what I'll do is I'll come up here I'll come halfway from the ball to the hole and I'll kind of look back, right? So now you can really focus on um, a spot that you want to hit it to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, just put my coin down about right there and I'm going to circle my way around. You can really see a slope right here. And you can see if I aim it right where that coin is, it's going to fall right into the hole. Then I keep, I keep my eye on the ball and on my target and into the hole. So I'm using a lot of visuals here. And the key to this is when you first make, when you first get an idea of where the, where the, where you have to line it, you want to walk up that side. So 
If it's a left to right breaker, walk up the left side first. If it's a right to left breaking putt, walk up the right side first. Now, if you're good with that coin being right where it is, which I like right now, now we get into that commitment stage. So all we're gonna do is come up, go through our routine, and this is my routine right here. I'll look at my, the coin that I wanna hit it to and focus in on my target. I'm making my free flowing swing. I get up to it, look at it one last time. Okay, just left, that's okay. Now let's go to another putt right over here. I'm gonna pick up my coin. So now this is this is a little this is opposite of what we just did. This is breaking right to left now. So now remember whatever whenever it's breaking to the left, we'll walk up the right side. Okay, so let's walk up the right side, go to our halfway point right in here, focus in on a target. You can look, you can use your visuals here going down the hill. I'm going to put it about right there. Oh, I really like that. I really like that. Because if I get it up on that hill, it's going to take the slope down. I'm going to commit to that line. Go through my routine. Three flowing strokes. Hit it, hit it. Okay, so just a little bit too firm, but that's okay. So when you go over these things, and if you're a little offline, you can always adjust that that target, that halfway target. And then all I do is I close it out with. Making a couple of two, three foot putts gives you confidence before you go to that first tee. Now, if you don't have a putting routine, come find me or email me at golfprochris.breed at gmail.com and I'd love to get you started on a plan. All right, thank you and have a great day.